Eat all the food. Dodge all the skulls. Fire peas at all of the tableware. It can only be munchies. Hello and welcome to Yesteryear's Mac Games, where the topic of interest today is munchies, a fast-paced, mouse-controlled eat-em-up for System 7 and above. This is a colossally significant game for me, as it's probably the first non-edutainment Macintosh game I've ever played. I couldn't begin to estimate the amount of time that child me would have put into this, so it's been great revisiting it. Turns out, adult me is a lot better at playing it, although that doesn't really show in this footage, thanks to the input lag I'm getting here. This is a result of outputting from my old Mac, through my contemporary desktop computer, to a monitor making it so much harder to play while recording. Munchies is about quick thinking, quicker movements, and eating so fast you've practically inhaled it. The best way to describe it is to start with Pac-Man. Do away with all those lousy inhibiting walls. Turn the ghosts into skulls, dots into food, and throw cutlery haphazardly around. The game screen is chaotic, and the gameplay is fast-paced. To play Munchies, plug in a mouse as the trackpad handles like a tank in a tar pit. Your task is to move Melvin the Munchie around the play area, eating the food that's floating about. When that's done, an exit appears in the bottom right corner that will take you to the next level. That on its own would of course be too simple. So the game throws a number of nasties at you with increasing ferocity the further you progress. It's a one-touch insta-kill for all of them, so be careful, as that's how you lose lives. Oh no! The majority of things you'll be avoiding are skulls, which float around brainlessly in beginner mode and chase you about the screen in expert. In addition, forks fly in from the side and bounce about the bottom, knives dart in diagonally from the top, while spoons full of poison cross horizontally, launching projectiles at you. I feel, out of all of these nasties, the knife is probably the biggest threat, and makes hovering around the topmost part of the screen very dangerous. This can be offset in the first 20 levels, by allowing the fork to spawn and leaving it to do its own bouncy little thing. With the fork in the play area, there'll be no slicey knifey to worry about. However, come level 20, with the food having turned to beer and Melvin drinking way beyond excess, you'll be dealing with multiple bits of cutlery at once. Like any capable munchie, Melvin is not defenceless. Bonus items fly in from the side, the most important of these being a pea pod. Each pod gives Melvin five peas that can be fired horizontally across the screen, destroying whatever it hits. Now, there are a couple of enhancements available for your peas. Eating a pot of salt. Yesteryear's Mac Games does not recommend eating pots of condiments allows you to direct your peas up and down in parallel with Melvin, which is equally as unhelpful as it is helpful. Focusing on where the pea is going, for instance, can lead a player to moving Melvin to a death without realising. Eating a pot of pepper, on the other hand, allows peas to explode through multiple items and is most certainly worth doing, as it becomes possible to pull off some fantastic shots. Other bonuses present are the dessert items, which give points. An entire stick of butter gives you a buttery shield of invulnerability, and the cup of coffee grants you a new life, much like in the real world. Bonus stages occur every five levels and are called desserts. Here, the high point, high calorie sweet food, descends vertically. This goes on for a set number of points until the exit appears. You can stay here as long as you want, but gradually the sweet treats will turn to skulls. Sounds like a textbook nightmare. Later levels are really manic, and it becomes absolutely necessary to destroy some of the skulls in order to get by. The mouse control is probably this game's biggest asset. The level of precision and quick movement that it enables gives the game its frantic edge. Graphics are quite colourful. Each level has its own food item, so I did find it a motivator to get further in order to see what came next. The backgrounds cycle randomly, and through the use of ResEdit, it's possible to insert your own. The game's music is playing in the background, and quite memorable. Titled Heavy But Cool, 
It seems to have been decelerated slightly from its original speed, which you can find on the mod archive. If this tune should start to get tiresome, it can be turned off, or replaced with something else. Replacements must be of the .mod format. It must be placed in the Munchies folder, and be given the file name Music. The official Munchies website, which at time of recording is still online, offers a handful of alternative compositions, this being one of them. The website, linked in the description, is where you can find a download of the game, along with a few reviews, and a last update date of 2001. All in all, Munchies is a lot of fun, and the gameplay hasn't been replicated in any modern game that I've seen. Eating immense quantities of food is truly addictive, but as stated on the splash screen, Munchies enables this without calories or guilt. Thanks ever so much for watching.